some high flying tag team action as it's a number one contenders match and the winners of this matchup will go on to where is IPW well, IPW is where on August the 19th of where Hertfordshire to go up against the hated heroes combination of Andy Boy Simmons and Aviv Mayan. And then the following evening, August the 20th, from the Orpington Halls, Orpington Kent, the IPW Arena, the winner of this contest will face the untouchable combination of Jack Storm, the human hate machine Dave Morales, the untouchables, the IPW UK Tag Team Champions with all the gold on the line so to say the stakes are high in this one is somewhat of an understatement. Japanese arm drags. A 
takes from ahead all over Witten and Ritchie. Down to the outside, maximum head. The pair come off opposing turnbuckles and wipe out both Witten and Ritchie. I think Voltage's blow on Ritchie was more of a glancing blow, but nevertheless, Witten and Ritchie are both down, and Dan Head now throws Ritchie into the ring. So right hand to the side of a skull, sends him off the ropes. Swing and a miss. Ritchie telegraphs his second clothesline attempt, but Dan Head has caught him. He holds him high, and beautiful double team manoeuvre from Maximum Head. Whitman makes a save, and something which has made Maximum Head so successful in tag team wrestling in the UK is all the array of double team manoeuvres they have in their arsenal. Fireman's carry from Dan Head now. He slows down the pace of a matchup. They're not going to be able to go at a, such a fast pace on such a hot day, such a hot July evening. It's a deep arm drag takedown from Voltage on Richie. Richie with one of his own. They both had the same thing in mind this time. But Witten takes a leg away from behind Voltage. Voltage nips up. Arm drag for Richie, arm drag for Witten. And Voltage has firm control of Kid Richie now as in comes Dan Head. It's a headbutt to the arm. It's a shoulder block from Max Voltage. Catapults into a ring with an arm drag, hangs on, Richie's in some trouble. a beautiful reversal from Voltage. Very long, very complex, but the end result was exactly what he wanted. And there's a low blow from Kid Richie. And it seems that Team War with Mon Richie, they've changed their tactics. Yet to become a victory in tag team competition. Because Whitten was successful last night against Cole Craze. Close line from Whitten takes down Max Voltage, a human dynamo. Scoop slam from Witten. His maximum head. And another example of IPW UK giving two men an opportunity and two men taking it with both hands. The same to an extent can be said to Witten and Richie. Finally getting some exposure they deserve down south. Dragon Sleeper, almost a variation of, applied by Richie, and again takes Voltage down with an arm drag and hangs onto that arm. It's a head scissors across the, the head of Voltage as well, as Richie cranks those legs around the head and neck of Max Voltage, and Voltage could be in some trouble. Look at the way he's trying to bridge out. into the arm of Voltage and that could break a bow. Richie holds Voltage open, he opens him up, they make full use of that five count and now I think they've just gone a bit above the call of duty here. Kid Richie's been in the ring for more than five seconds, referee Chris Hatch reprimanded him and now Dad Head trying to have a word with the referee and now look behind the referee's back. Kid Richie choking away at Max Voltage. And Dan Head, I'm afraid, has just played into the game of Witten and Richie. And inadvertently may have just harmed his partner Voltage's chance. I say that there's a roll up. Can only get a two count as Witten cuts off Voltage at the source with a big, big clothesline. He's tagging to Richie, and I'm liking the way with the Richie, they've decided to isolate Max Voltage, a smaller of the pair of maximum head. They've cut them into quick tags in and out, ensuring there's always a fight.
fresh man inside the ring, working over the worn down voltage. Because tag team wrestling is so hard to master, and tag team wrestling is very much a dying art form in the UK. However, in IPW UK, it's very much alive and well, as IPW UK's tag team division is the most busiest, competitive division in the world today. So as a shoulder blitz. The demonstration of that by the fact that our tag team champions, our IPW UK tag team champions, the untouchables, and stacked in May, defeated Pro Wrestling Noah's GHC tag team champions. It was non-title match, but just an example of how alive and well tag team wrestling is here in IPW UK. Looked for an into Gory, Richie ducked out, and there's an elbow to the lower back, and Voltage is still in some serious trouble. If he'd hit that manoeuvre, the chances of him making the tag into Dan Head were very high. Snap there, takedown now from Witten. Chop across the back, chop, kick across the chest. Oh my, what teamwork from Witten and Richie, and this is over right now. But here comes Dan Head to make the save. This one almost breaking down. He's in danger of doing so at least. Is it a choke from Kid Richie? And the combination of Whitten and Richie are so far very impressive. They seem to have got the art of tag team wrestling down to a fine tee, but Voltage firing back with a series of forearms, and if he can make the tag, his contest will be turned on his head, and there's a high back body draw. Tag into Witten. Quick tags in and out. They're the recipe of the day for Witten and Ritchie. And they're so far working very effectively. But again, Voltage fights back. But again, Witten able to cut him off. But Voltage ducks a close line attempt. Ducks a back elbow, but a high knee floors him. Four on to the side of the skull. Sends Voltage into the corner. Chris Whitten comes in, house of steam, Voltage gets a boot up. Max Voltage with a double stomp to the back, and then he grabs the leg of Richie. And... Oh, two count only. Richie was not the legal man, but referee Chris Hatch using a bit of creative license there. Sends Voltage off the ropes. Pair of handspring back elbows from Max Voltage, and the whole complexity of this contest could change should Voltage be able to make the tag. But you're in the wrong corner, Max. You're in the wrong corner. He dives for Dan Head, but Witten cuts him off. Two and a half. Chris Witten may have just saved the match for his team by catching Voltage midair. He was so, so close to making that tag in to Dan Head. Can you imagine the fire that Dan Head would have brought to this match? Max Voltage again fighting back with a series of forearms. He's so impressive. The guts as he jumped up, but Witten caught him. Richie now from the top. He went for the clothesline. Voltage ducks out and also hit a hurricane runner on Richie. Now can Voltage make the tag? Well, Richie cuts him off again. Sends him into the corner. Voltage vaults over. Rolls through. In comes Dan Head. Headbutt for Witten. Headbutt for Richie. And Dan Head is cleaning house. Lifts Richie up. Voltage with a drop kick on Witten. And, Rich, and Dan Head clears house on Kid Richie. What a beautiful double team maneuver from Maximum Head. But Witten makes a save before any pinball attempt can be made. As this one, all law and order, has been thrown out the window. It's broken down as Witten nails Voltage with a swing in DDT. But Dan Head there to make the save for his partner. The higher education from Dan Head. This is a move which won in many matches. Well, 
Kid Richie again cuts off that ahead. This one has really, really broken down. Reversal from head on Richie holds him up. Another double team manoeuvre which I failed to have a name for. But there's Whitson on the top rope. Voltage cuts him off as he falls down onto that hard, unforgiving floor. There's no protective mats on the outside. Rich is up. Oh yes! It's a maximum head and they've done it! Max Voltage and Dan Head are now the number one contenders to the IPW UK Tag Team titles. They've defeated Whitten and Richie, and at the end of the day, it was a team with the superior teamwork that stayed together till the end and won the match. What a great series of double team manoeuvres from Maximum Head. Hopefully we'll see some replays in a minute. As Voltage and Head, they go to where? To face the hated heroes. Then on August 20th, they've got the untouchables. Should they defeat them, then the new breed lie in wait. As there you see those great double team manoeuvres. Maximum Head victorious. And we'll be back with the IPW UK title on the line.